Hey guys, so a short video here today. Just want to do an unboxing of another jersey that I got on eBay. And yeah, let's see what's inside of this one. It's actually one that means a lot to me in my heart, so let's take a look. Now this one only cost about $40. Everything included on eBay. So, you know, whenever people ask me like oh how do you afford all these you must be rich no like very seldom do i get one for over like 40 50 bucks you know and most of the time they're actually under that and they're about 20 or 30 so cool that's out that's out They packed it in a Ziploc bag. Cool. Let's disinfect that. Okay, so just took a little second to pull out of that Ziploc bag and disinfect it a bit. Um, I usually don't get them in Ziploc bags. It's one of the first times I think I've ever had that. I did have one guy put one in like a couple like grocery bags, like and then put it in a box. That's when I got my Canucks jersey. <laughs> um, so, I mean, appreciate the effort anyway. Uh, yeah, San Jose Sharks. Fanatics. Home jersey. Look how great this one is. Uh, has the tags on it, still. And this one's one of our best players. So, Patrick Marlowe, at least was one of our best players. And yeah, nothing too crazy here. Just a standard Fanatics jersey. You have the bendable crest that goes in the front. Uh, really soft material. Everything's heat pressed on. Plastic logo, so. Yeah. I do have another video that, and it depends on when I put this one up, but either I already put up or I'm going to put up about the differences between a Adidas jersey and a Fanatics jersey, just in case you're kind of wondering between the two, which one you want to buy. But for $40, a Fanatics jersey is pretty good, especially if it has a name on it. So I am very happy with this. I love Patrick Barlow and everything he's done for us in the past. So, And surprisingly, I don't have any of the new designs for the Shark ones, the Adidas ones. Or I do have an Adidas... No, no, no. And surprisingly, I don't have any of the Sharks' current designs. Well, actually, I do. I lied. I do have a white Fanatics of the current design. But I didn't have a teal one. And the only difference between this new teal one and the old teal one was the shoulder patch. So this one has the screaming shark on it. And the old ones just had that full-bodied shark on it. So this is the first of the new ones for me. I do want to get an Adidas one, too. Maybe with a Van Kane on it. But, um... Pretty much everywhere that has them is kind of sold out right now, so hopefully soon. We'll see. And let's see how it fits. So before I get into what it looks like on me, I just thought I'd show you guys real quick how I sterilize each new package that I get. Especially with everything going on right now, it's just better to be safe than sorry, you know. Uh, I just glove up with a pair of gloves that I got from Walgreens. And then once I have both of these bad boys on me, I grab myself an antibacterial wipe. You could also use a Clorox wipe, whatever you have on hand. And, you know, just get to scrubbing all over the package. Try to get every side, every little nook, cranny, and corner that I can. Um, odds are it probably won't stick to a surface like this for so long, especially how long the shipping process takes for you. But you never know. Maybe someone that you, you don't really trust gets into your mail room, touches your packages, and you just want to have some peace of mind. So as long as you go over the entirety of the box, you should be fine. And if you're super paranoid like me, you could invest in a steamer. And just do a couple of quick passes on low heat with your steam around the jersey. It works really well to burn off anything on the surface. Plus, you could get rid of some wrinkles at the same time, too. Uh, I probably wouldn't uh, keep the steamer on the logos or the numbers or the shoulder patches of the Fanatics jersey too much. Just because it's only made of that like weird rubbery plasticky material and honestly i don't um want to run the risk of warping them in any way shape or form so i don't trust that too much but just really quickly should be fine as long as you get into the details of the fabric that's what matters the most and yeah a couple quick passes make sure it's all nice and warm and you should be good to go nice 
Yeah, so these Fanatics ones fit extremely well on your body. I'm like 5'8", only weigh like 160, you know. But they're very form-fitting. If you could deal with a somewhat stretchy, plasticky logo on it, then honestly you should be fine getting one of these if you find them for cheap on eBay. Because that would not pay full price for one of these from shop.nhl.com. But yeah, fits like a glove. Came out really great. Still has the tags on it. Only 40 bucks. So, hope you guys have some good luck searching on eBay for your own jerseys. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a whole Fanatics versus Adidas compare and contrast video because I really want to do that. And maybe I could use my Knights jerseys for those ones. And just to give you, like, you know, a whole bang for your buck thing. So, you could make that decision on your own. Maybe you like this one better. Maybe you like the other one better. We'll see. Um, let me know if you have any questions about uh, Fanatics jerseys in the comments or about any jerseys in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them either in the comments in another video or some other way. We'll figure it out. So yeah, until next time. Thanks. Alright, boom. Cut. Yep. Yeah. Cool.